All right, so I am out at the Charles Bronson State Forest uh, trailhead off of Curryville, and I'm getting ready to do the hike up to the Indian Mounds in search of shad. All right, so I made it to Heifer Mound. It took me about an hour and a half or so. Um, I wasn't huffing it. I was stopping and taking pictures and whatnot, and I had actually started down the path to the uh, deep cuts and decided uh, to come up here first. So um, I'm standing on top of Heifer Mound right now, and uh, great view. Um, however, I don't see a lot of current right now, so I'm gonna head uh, back down river a little bit. I can see some deep cuts down there, and what looks to be a uh, big flock of potentially white pelicans so that's always a good sign for me um, i'm gonna head down there and see if i can find some current in the main channel so i did move down river and found good current and decent depth on each of the turns on the way down to nelly dora mound and beyond um, the area was was fairly wet still um, so there were creeks across the pasture that were a little difficult to cross um, definitely muddy I was a muddy mess at the end. I basically fished each of the turns very hard at multiple depths with using different, you know, sink rate type flies, hourglass um, and bee chain eyes, and then eventually, you know, no weighted flies as well. So really working the entire water column and just, uh, just the fish weren't there. And I was kind of surprised since there um, are reports of fish being caught all the way down by SR50. I really thought maybe I'd run into a pack of fish that had stalled there, but it was not the case. I really enjoyed this hike. It's a remote area of the river. I only saw a couple of boats and maybe a couple more air boats the whole day, but uh, absolutely beautiful scenery out there and full of wildlife. Um, hundreds of sandhill crane, white pelicans, um, a couple of alligators, not as many as I would have thought. Uh, I saw deer. So, you know, really interesting place for um, spotting wildlife. So the only downside of this hike for me was that the 15% chance of rain seemed to be 100% um, over my head. <laughs> it rained on and off all day. And by about 2.30, the wind had picked up to a point that um, it, it just became ridiculous trying to fly fish. So between that and then uh, pretty hard rain, uh, I decided to pack it up at 2.30 and, and hike on back. So I got a good four hours of uh, hard fishing each of the bends and, and just did not find any shad. <laughs> 